Solving a third degree equation with the factor by grouping method can be accomplished in five steps. In this video, I'll discuss those five steps, and as I do, I'll perform the steps on the equation 4x to the third plus 6x squared minus 6x minus 9 equals 0 to find this third degree equation's three solutions. Let's begin. The first step in the factor by grouping method is to set the equation equal to zero. In this example problem, the equation is already equal to zero. But if it were not, if you were given an equation that's not equal to zero to begin with, and you're using the factor by grouping method, you wanna start out by adding or subtracting the terms to both sides of the equation so that it's set equal to zero. Additionally, you wanna write the terms in decreasing degree. You want to write the x to the third power first, then x to the second, then x to the first, and then the constant. In our problem, since it's already equal to zero, step one is done. And we're on to step two, which is to group the first two terms and the last two terms together. Group the x to the third and the x to the second terms together, the first two terms, and the last two terms, the x to the first and the constant, are going to be grouped. That's where this method gets its name. Factor by grouping is going to be to group the first two and the last two terms together. Once that's done, it's on to step three. Step three is to factor the greatest common factor out of each group. Now, if you look at this polynomial that's on the left side of the equation, the four terms do not have a common factor. 4, 6, 6, and 9 do not have a common factor. All four of them are not divisible by the same number. Additionally, all four terms do not include a factor of x. However, each group individually does have a greatest common factor. The first group, 4x to the third and 6x to the second, has a common factor of 2x squared. The greatest common factor between 4 and 6 is 2 and the greatest common factor between x to the third and x to the second is x to the second. Factoring a 2x to the second out of those only first two terms leaves you with 2x plus 3. If you factor a 2x squared out of 4x to the third, you're left with 2x, and if you factor 2x to the second out of 6x squared, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and you factor the x squared out to the front of that second term, and you're left with just 2x plus 3. Now notice that 4x to the third plus 6x squared is exactly the same thing as 2x squared times 2x plus 3. If you were to distribute the 2x squared, you would end up with 4x to the third plus 6x squared. Next, we'll factor a common factor out of the second group, negative 6x minus 9. Now I'm going to say that the greatest common factor here is negative 3. If there is a negative in front of the third term, the first term in the second group, you want to factor that out to the front. And when I factor a negative 3, the greatest common factor between 6 and 9, out to the front of those two terms, I'm left with 2x plus 3. If I factor a negative 3 out of negative 6x, I'm left with 2x. And if I factor a negative 3 out of negative 9, negative 9 divided by negative 3 is positive 3. And again, these last two terms are unchanged. If you would distribute negative 3 times 2x and times positive 3, you would get negative 6x minus 9. So now we've factored, well, once we set this equal to 0, we can say that we've factored the greatest common factor out of each group, and we're done with step 3. On to step 4, which is to see if the resulting binomials match. After you factor a common factor out of each group, take a look at the two binomials you're left with. In this case, the first one is 2x plus 3, and the second one is also 2x plus 3. When those binomials match, the factor by grouping method can be used. In general, if you're looking at a third degree equation, not all third degree equations can be solved using the factor by grouping method. And you'll know for sure if it can be solved with this method if these two binomials match. And in this case, they do match. So I'll perform step four 
which is to factor out that common binomial. The common binomial here is 2x plus 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor that out to the front of the entire left side of the equation. And if I take the 2x plus 3 binomial and I factor that out to the front, what I'm left with is just 2x squared and minus 3. And that is what my equation is equal to 0 at, factoring the resulting binomials out to the front, leaves me with 2x plus 3 times 2x squared minus 3 equals 0. Done with step 4. There's one more step to do. Step 5, the final step, is to set each resulting factor equal to 0 and solve. Our two factors here are 2x plus 3 and 2x squared minus 3. Setting those equal to 0 would be to say, hey, 2x plus 3 equals 0, and also 2x squared minus 3 equals 0. We're going to solve both of these equations, and those solutions taken as a set are, will be the solutions to the original polynomial third degree equation. First, let's solve 2x plus 3 equals 0. This is a fairly simple equation to solve. We can just subtract 3 from both sides of the equation and then divide by 2 to get x equals negative 3 halves. This is one of the solutions to the equation. The other two solutions are found by solving 2x squared minus 3 equals 0. First, we'll add 3 to both sides of the equation and then divide by 2. And that leaves you with x squared equals 3 halves. x squared equals 3 halves. Now, because this is x to the second power on the left side of this equation, we'll have to take the square root of both sides of the equation and not forget to add a plus or minus in front of the square root of 3 halves. So x equals plus or minus the square root of 3 halves, which we'll rationalize by multiplying the top and bottom by the square root of 2. And the square root of 3 over 2 is equivalent to the square root of 6 over 2 in rationalized form. So x equals, the solution to 2x squared minus 3 equals 0 is x equals plus or minus the square root of 6 over 2. Those are the other two solutions to the original equation. Remember, we began solving an x to the third, a third degree equation, which has three solutions. And we've now found those three solutions. One of the solutions is x equals negative 3 halves. And then the other two come from plus or minus, the square root of 6 over 2, positive square root of 6 over 2, and negative square root of 6 over 2. The three solutions to the third degree equation that we began with are negative 3 halves, positive square root of 6 over 2, and negative square root of 6 over 2.